Hello everyone, and in today's video demonstration, we'll be showing how we can use the gravity bridge to convert ERC20 NIM tokens into Cosmos based tokens. So let's get into it. So what is the gravity bridge? As we can see here on the gravity bridge website, gravity bridge is a neutral Ethereum to Cosmos bridge through inter-blockchain communication. The gravity bridge will enable us to convert our ERC20 assets into Cosmos based assets. So how do we go about this? So there are a few prerequisites. There's going to be some requisite knowledge of you understanding and being able to use command line tools on a Linux based machine. It will also require you having NIM ERC20 tokens, preferably in a MetaMask account, and also the inclusion of using Kepler, which is very similar to a MetaMask account. So let's get into it. First things first, we need to install a couple of binaries from the Gravity Bridge release page, and that can be found at this location. GitHub.com Gravity Bridge Gravity Bridge releases tags 1.50. So what I've got, I've got a, a Linux based machine running a Ubuntu 20.04 image. And what I'm going to do is install the binaries on this machine and then go about running the executables from them. So how do we go about that? First and foremost, you would have to have an instance running. And therefore, the next step is that we go and fetch these binaries. So because I'm operating from a Linux based machine, I'm going to copy the link address of this binary. And I'm going to install it to my home directory on my server. As you can see, that has successfully downloaded. And the second binary we need to install is the Gravity Linux MD64. Copy link address. And we get perfect. So once that's installed, I'm going to clear my terminal screen. LS. And as you can see at the moment, the permissions need to be changed so they can be executable. So what I'm going to do is firstly name the Gravity Linux AMD to something more adeptly named. Gravity Shamod U plus X GBT Gravity. And now we can see they are executable. So what do the two binaries do? The GBT binary is for enabling Gravity Bridge transactions and the Gravity binary is to query the Gravity node and their network. We're now going to segue into MetaMask and Kepler, both of which are browser-based wallets which you can contain your ERC20 tokens using MetaMask, and Kepler is very similar where you can have track of all your Cosmos-based blockchain currency addresses. To install these, what you would do, you would navigate to your browser. In this instance, I'm using Brave, out of personal preference. I would select this little icon here and then manage extensions. If you don't have this already installed, go to the store, search MetaMask, click on MetaMask and install it into your browser. Then perform the same action with Kepler. Once they have successfully been installed, you will then pin them to the menu bar here. Then what you can do is drop down on the menu and see what's inside your wallet. I'm going to state that I have already got NIM ERC20 tokens in this Ethereum wallet that I have in MetaMask. So the next thing I want to do is go about creating a NIM mnemonic. If you haven't already done so, it's quite simple to do and it will just require you going to nimtech.net, the downloads page, and install the wallet specific to your machine. Now that I've downloaded the wallet successfully, what I can do is create an account. If I select create account, it's going to generate a 24 seed mnemonic. I can then copy this mnemonic, store it somewhere safe, and never disclose this information to anyone. Once I'm done with that, what I can proceed to do is then navigate to my Kepler wallet. Here's an account that I've already set up. But what I would do is that I would add an account 
import existing account, input my mnemonic and my account name. Test. Now that has been successfully added to my Kepler wallet, I can now switch between these accounts. And what you can see is that within Kepler, we have all the Cosmos base networks attached to it. And when you input your mnemonic, it derives all of the rest of the addresses for these networks. And in this instance, if I was to switch to Osmosis, I can see my Osmosis address and so forth for the rest of the chains on Cosmos. As NIM is not fully embedded within Kepler yet, what Kepler offers is a Suggest Experimental API. And this is where we can actually add the Nix blockchain to our Kepler wallet. So how do we go about this? If we follow the instructions on here, and then scroll down to the example given, we can replace these values with what's on the Nix blockchain. So how do we do that? So we open up the browser tools. And then what I would do is inject this by running this script. So once you've successfully injected that code snippet, what you can do is that on screen, Kepler will prompt an authorization window saying, select yes. And then once you go back into the Kepler wallet, what you can do is then scroll down into the beta support section and you'll see the NIM mainnet blockchain. And what we've actually got here now is our Nix address. So just like all other blockchains, the Gravity Bridge actually is its own network and blockchain itself. Therefore, we're required to actually purchase some tokens on their network to be able to do transactions. And how do we go about that? First and foremost, the Gravity Bridge is another blockchain that runs on the Cosmos ecosystem. Therefore, it has its own currency, Gravitons. And just like a currency with all chains, it's required to make transactions on the network. Therefore, we need some tokens. And the best thing about the Cosmos ecosystem is that fees are always low. So what do we need to do? We need to navigate across to Osmosis. Osmosis is a decentralized exchange for buying, swapping and staking currencies. We can connect via our Kepler wallet and then we can go about making transactions and switching currencies to enable us to purchase some Gravitons. You will be required to have some base currency in Atom to start this process. So the next step is to connect my wallet. Usually, because I've already signed in pre prior to this, it would come up with another authorization prompt saying, do you allow Kepler to actually authorize to connect to Osmosis? Select yes and proceed. So once in Osmosis, what you need to do is navigate towards the asset section. And what I need to do from my existing wallet, as you can see here, this is the prompt that would request connection to your Kepler wallet. Is select approve. And then what I want to do is transfer all of this Atom via an IBC to Osmosis. So that's the inter blockchain there. So if I select max, I will now authorize the transaction. And as you can see that deposit into my Osmosis account has been successful. So what do I need to do now? Firstly, Osmosis is its own blockchain as well. So I need to buy a small amount of Osmosis to perform transactions on this network. So how do I do that? I go to the trade section and what I want to do is input a small amount to convert into Osmosis. So now I'm going to perform that swap. I'm going to authorize it and wait for that to be successfully completed. And now that's successfully completed, I'm going to navigate to my assets and I can see that I have some Osmosis there. So I'm now going to go back to trade. And what I want to do is purchase some Gravitons, the native currency of the Gravity Bridge. So I'm going to purchase this amount. I'm now going to swap them and approve the transaction. Perfect. Now I'm going to open up my Kepler extension. And what you would need to do within Kepler is make sure you have IBC transfers enabled. This allows you to communicate to multiple blockchains. So what I'm going to do now, because I've deposited all of my Atom into Osmosis, I'm going to switch to the Osmosis network. 
And what you can see here, you can see the tokens that I purchased. So what I need to do now is transfer these gravity bridge tokens, the gravitons, to the gravity bridge address. And I can do this via an IBC transfer. So within the gravity osmosis wallet, I'm going to select transfer, a new IBC transfer channel. I'm going to select gravity bridge and the channel is 144. And who am I sending this to? So I need to pre-select it, add the recipient, which is my gravity bridge address. And I'm not going to provide a memo in this instance. I want to send my gravitons and I'm going to send 15 of them. And as you can see, we are deducted osmosis for the transaction. Next thing, I'm going to approve this transaction and we can see the balance has been successfully deducted from our osmosis account. So now if I was to switch networks and go to the gravity bridge, shortly I should see my gravitons. And as expected, here we go. We now have 15 gravitons in our account. So another useful tool that we could use in conjunction with Kepler is a Cosmos block explorer called ping.pub. So if I was to go onto ping.pub, I can see all the Cosmos based networks. And what I'm going to do is expand the next blockchain. And what we can do within ping.pub is also attach our Kepler wallet. So I've already gone about uh, authorizing permissions for the site to actually connect to it. And if I was to select my wallet and go into my accounts, I have a visual representation of the transfers that I've just done from all of those chains. So we've got 15 gravitons still remaining in my osmosis. I've got 15 gravitons in the gravity bridge. Nix, I don't have any NIM tokens at the moment and Cosmos and so forth. So now I guess we're in a good position to start going about converting our ERC20 NIM tokens to Cosmos based assets. Also to note, within ping.pub, it has the utility and functionality to enable you to transfer tokens on the network as well. So if I drilled down further into the gravity bridge address that I have, I can transfer tokens to another gravity bridge address. And if I wanted to relay that across network, say back to osmosis, what I can do, I would select the respective channel recipient address to. So now inside the Linux terminal, we need to run some commands to be able to entitle us to actually convert these assets across. So what we need to do is first initialize the GBT binary. And as you can see, the config already exists. So what do we need to do next? Let's quickly expand this GBT binary and see what it actually does. So when inputting this, we are output to console all the things that it's capable of doing. So I won't go into the depths about each subcommand here, but the commands that we need are the client. And here we've got information about how would we go about to convert ERC20 tokens to Cosmos based tokens. So let's just output to console just to see what's needed and which arguments we need to supply for this to happen. So what we have here are all the parameters that this following command needs to be able to do the transfer. So your Ethereum key, the gravity contract address, the token contract address, the amount and the destination. So we will also be publishing documentation shortly about how to use this, but we're using this video as an extra opportunity just to describe the step-by-step -step process in enabling a smooth, seamless experience for yourself. So the first thing we can see there is our Ethereum key. And this would be your Ethereum private key. So how do we go about attaining that? So as mentioned before, I'm using MetaMask as my Ethereum wallet, which also contains my NIM ERC20 tokens. So if I navigate back to my browser, you can see that I have 15 NIM in my account, along with 35.90 cents of Ethereum. So what you would do is expand the details and export your private key. On MetaMask, it will prompt you to input your password. And once again, never disclose this information. Once you've actually acquired your private key, you would need to navigate back to the machine and you would either store it as a variable on the machine or input it 
as you put in the rest of the arguments for the binary. Remember to clear your history and never disclose this information to anyone. What's next is our gravity contract address, which will be published in the documentation along with the NIM ERC20 token address. The amount is how many NIMs you want to send from your MetaMask wallet to the gravity bridge. And the destination would be your gravity bridge address. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fill out this transaction and then I'm going to execute it. So bear with me whilst I build this out. Now that we successfully built out the query that we're going to be executing, one thing to note is that within your Kepler wallet, your destination will be your gravity bridge address. So this will be inputted here. Also to note, within your MetaMask wallet, you would also be required to have some ether. This is to cover the transaction costs. So what we're going to do next is execute the query here. We can now see that the transaction was successful. And in a short period of time, we should see the tokens within our Gravity Bridge wallet. One thing to note, as you can see on my MetaMask wallet, we have now been deducted some transaction fees. And also you can see that the NIM value has deducted by five. If I was to copy my wallet and go to Etherscan and input my wallet address, and we can successfully see that transaction has been submitted to Ethereum and use the gravity bridge to convert the ERC20 representation of NIMS to Cosmos based assets. And after a small period of time, if I now expand my Kepler wallet and scroll down, I can see the five NIM tokens that I have sent across. So what do I want to do with these now? I want to put them on the NIM network. So the last piece of the puzzle now is to relay and do an IBC transfer from the Gravity Bridge to the Nix blockchain. So what I need to do first and foremost is go back to the NIM network, copy my address, navigate back to the Gravity Bridge, scroll down, quickly inspect which channel to send it to, which is channel 18, and start the process of sending it via a new IBC channel. So NIM mainnet, and as we saw there previously, channel 18. That's been successfully added. Now I'm going to select this option, input my NIM wallet, and transferring tokens. Seems like a good memo to put. Select next. I'm going to send the NIM token and the amount, which is going to be five. I'm going to pay the cost in Gravitons for performing the transaction and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to wait a minute now for that transaction to broadcast and as you can see the value has removed from my Gravity Bridge address. Now if I switch and go back to my NIM mainnet wallet, in a short period of time we should expect to see five NIMs in here. So bear with me. I have now reloaded my wallet and as you can see we have successfully acquired five NIMs into our NIM mainnet wallet address. The next step would be to use the mnemonic you created earlier to then go and log in to the NIM wallet. So let's go about that. So now I have just reopened the wallet and now I'm going to sign in and in this instance I'm going to sign in with my mnemonic. And as you can see, we have parity on the address here, H6ZVZQ. And we have successfully converted ERC20 NIM tokens to Cosmos-based assets. In the future, we will show a video on how to do the vice versa operation, so Cosmos to Ethereum transactions. But I hope you found this video useful. And if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to message in our Telegram channel. Uh, thank you for watching.